sometimes I am a tree. I like the taste of the air, so cool and fresh. A breath of life in a fading world. The sun surrounds me and holds me and lifts me up. It is all that I can see. I could die here, I think, and not really mind it. The grass would comfort me as I fell. I could lie there after death, forever maybe or until I had become a part of the earth. I would forget about ever being a tree. I would forget about everything. I know that sounds frightening, but it isn't. It is okay to forget. To stop knowing things and having thoughts. To be a stone in a sea of grass and breathe in and out with the swaying of the stalks. I don't really need to be alive, I think. Well, we need an answer by tomorrow. I don't think it's going to take me that long. If you say so, but you've been in here three times now. And I warned you after the first that I really didn't want to sell. And yet, you still keep coming back. I just don't think it is worth it. And I don't see your problem. Now, I know the place must have sentimental value. But you're not using it. And if you ever were to want to come back to live there, I don't think you'd need 12 acres. Still, it doesn't sit right with me. It's such a beautiful place, and I grew up there. I've been trying to get the city to turn it into a park. Without much success. I don't think they want to spend the money. That's probably because they already have a park. On the other hand, we do want it. And we can spend the money. Yeah, but the town already has a shopping center. A couple of them, actually. Not on this scale, of course, but... But still... More people means greater demand. And this city is growing, Miss Ryan. That forest used to be miles away. Now, it's practically on the edge of town. But my father always cared so much about the trees. All that land and he only built the house on one tiny piece of it, and he left the rest alone. We used to take walks through it every day when I was a kid. I know this is hard for you, especially with your father so recently passed. I'm not going to push you. I just need an answer. Then the answer is no. Well, Jessica, I think you're being a little hasty. I think you should give this a little bit more thought. I'm trying to make this easier on you. I'm not the bad guy, and neither are you. We're just two people trying to make a living. This is a lot more than you were offering before. A lot. Like I said, we're willing to spend the money. And that's more than a fair price. You don't have to decide now. Take that home with you. Think about it. Come back tomorrow, and if you want, I'll sign that check. Hey, Jess. What's up? 
Oh, not much. I'm about to head out with a couple of the guys. How have you been? It's been a while since I've seen you. Pretty good, I guess. Something bothering you? Not really, just... work stuff. Hey, I heard about your father. I'm sorry. How are you holding up? Alright. Cool, cool. So, hey, you remember that money I loaned you last month? You said you were going to pay me back a couple weeks ago. Yeah, sorry. Things have been pretty tight. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it, but do you think you maybe get that to me pretty soon? I'm kind of in a bind at the moment. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, well, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, girl, okay? Okay, bye. All that I ever was is deep within the earth. It isn't obvious. I could not find it if I looked, though I never would. But it is there. There are little pieces of me in the worms that crawl down through the dirt, and in the grains themselves, all the way down to where there is no more dirt. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I just got distracted. Look at that! It's not that bad. You put a huge dent in my car. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need your information. It's just a little fender bender. What? I can't go around town with a huge dent in my car? I pray to God you have good insurance. Good morning. Yeah. So, have you thought over my offer? Yeah. And what do you think? Will you sell? Excellent. I have the papers right here. I don't ever want to see it. What? What you're building. I don't ever want to have to look at it, or hear about it. After this, I don't want to talk to you anymore. That's perfectly all right. Once you sign these papers, we're done here. You have until the end of the week to remove any valuables from the property. After that, there's no reason to go back. And I'll never bother you again. You can forget all about it. You can forget about everything. Okay. It was dark in my dreams that night. And 
every night after. Goodbye, my father. Oh. Uh -huh.